Hi, I'm Roseanne and welcome to my garden. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take cuttings from my clematis plant. Here I have a post-flowering clematis, uh, Jackmani clematis plant. It is the middle of September, so there are no blooms left, and it's the perfect time for me to take cuttings to grow next season. Jackmani plants are beautiful purple vining, deciduous vining plants. Uh, the blossoms have anywhere from four to six blooms. Uh, it's incredibly versatile in that it can handle full sun to part shade. It can handle uh, neutral soil, acidic soil, or alkaline soil. Uh, but it does like to keep, uh, to be evenly moist. That is the one uh, thing about Jackmani clematis. The way I have it planted here is to have ferns in front of the roots. The reason being, clematis do like, they say, sunny heads and cold feet. So the ferns in front of the clematis are perfect to keep the roots cool and it's against the house. I have it on a support uh, covering our downspout. So what a great way to make uh, a downspout look pretty. To get started, I've prepared some pots. I filled these pots in preparation with moistened potting mix. Just simple potting mix. Some people use seedling mix. I use potting mix because that's what I have on, on hand. You'll also need rooting powder and clean trays. Uh, I've reused these for several years, but I do wash them when I'm done with them, and then I sterilize them in a mixture of one part bleach to nine parts water, and then I dry them. These, these pots I've pre-filled with my moistened potting mix. The thing about moistened potting mix is if you just use dry, uh, you'll see we can wash off the rooting powder when we need to water the plant. Now I need to find the right vines for cuttings. Typically, I like to find vines that have old wood, harder brown wood, as well as fresh, fresher wood. I, and I have one right here. Some people use a knife. I use a very sharp shears, pruning shears. And I'm after this particular vine. It's the end of the season, so, and in the spring, I'm gonna cut this vine back pretty far. Jackmani is a type three clematis, meaning it blooms on new wood, but it also blooms on old wood. So in the spring, I will trim it many of the shoots down to about a foot off the ground, but I am going to leave some shoots about three feet tall, four feet tall, and five feet tall because the leaves will emerge from the old wood. Okay, so now I have my, my vine. I prefer to take the cuttings and put them directly into my prepared potting mix. Some people uh, who aren't able to do that immediately uh, keep the clematis cuttings in a paper, in a plastic bag with wet, warm paper towels wrapped around them to keep them moist. Here's a portion of my clematis vine. Please be sure to keep the top from the bottom uh, noted. For example, this is from the base of the plant, and this is from the top. It's important, or you could put the wrong end of the vine in the, in the, in the potting mix, and clearly it won't work. So this is the bottom. So this is where I've cut it. I'm going to cut one inch above the leaf node, and I'm going to cut one leaf off. I'm going to dip it in rooting powder,
use my wonderful uh, tool, a uh, dibble, and I'm going to plant two clematis per pot. I use the dibble so that I don't scrape off the rooting powder that I just put on the plant. So, so there I have one plant and I will water this very slightly when I'm done. So for the next plant, let's do another, let's do this clematis. I want two inches on the bottom, one inch on the top, and I cut off one of the leaves so the energy of the plant goes into the roots, not creating leaves. I dip it in rooting powder, And then I create a hole for it. You can use a chopstick. I have this wonderful tool which I got as a souvenir in, uh, on a trip to England. So I put it in and there I have my clematis cutting. Let me do another one. Again, we see here we're going to leave two inches on the bottom one inch on the top and I will leave one leaf on. So I will take this, rub it in rooting powder, create a hole for it so the rooting powder doesn't get brushed off, plant it, and put the soil around it. I finished potting up the clematis cuttings. I ended up doing four per pot instead of two per pot as I had originally intended. I figured it's just more insurance. Next I'll move these pots indoors under a grow light uh, probably about 12 hours a day and it'll likely take about 10 to 12 weeks before you'll see any serious roots. So basically I just make sure that they stay moist, not too wet, but moist until I start seeing roots and uh, we'll look at the success rate. Hopefully I'll get at least 50%. I'd be happy with 30%. At any rate, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.